Hello there, how are you today? Okay, today we have another great topic. Again, a very, very, very uh, popular question amongst most of you. How do you solve having negative thoughts and positive thoughts? Well, <clears throat> you have to learn how to do this a little bit, okay? If you are a little bit prone to having negative thoughts, <clears throat> then you have to learn a little trick to get you out of that, okay? It's, it's simple, there's nothing complicated to it. But obviously what most of us don't realise is that negative thoughts do affect us greatly because the more negative thoughts we have, the more of a negative kind of person we are and that is what we project. So therefore when we project that image of being so negative, we get a negative response and that's not what we want because we want positivity all the way, okay? So when you have a positive outlook on life and your attitude is positive and your moods are positive and generally your life is positive, then you are getting a positive response and that is the big difference. So when we have these negative thoughts, which we all do, the most positive person in the world does. So please don't feel bad about the fact that you have negative thoughts. You just have to try and uh, reduce them a little bit and not have so many. So uh, what you need to do is you need to think of something beforehand, like now, perfect time, is to think of something that really brings you joy, something that really lights you up, you know, whether it's here in your heart or whatever it is you may be um, thinking of. But when you have that, when you have that joy in something, that is where you've got to go. Boom. The minute you feel that negative thought coming on, think about whatever it is that gives you joy. Think about that wonderful moment that's going to make you smile. And you're going to change it. Boom. And what happens is you're throwing them to the back of the queue. You know, if you imagine they're, they're all lined up waiting to get out, you know, and you have this instant flip, this instant shift in your mindset. And little poor Mr. Negative is t -t 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 all the way back to the end of the queue. And that is exactly what you want. Because in the end, you'll just get fed up of showing up. And that is what happens. We retrain our minds, you know. If you imagine that, you know, inside here, we're a little bit like Spaghetti Junction, you know, and there's lines going everywhere. Well, they're all sending messages. They're, that's their job. That's what they do. And that is how we react to certain situations and things that we find ourselves confronted with in life. So what we need to do is we need to rewire that little circuit a little bit, okay? And in the end, that particular line will just fall by the wayside. They'll just get fed up of coming to the front because every time they get here, boom, you're knocking them back. Now, while you're allowing them to come in, well, they're having a great time, they're having a wonderful time because they're making your life very miserable. So, and, and that, of course, is what negative will do. So, of course, Mr. Negative thinks he's on a win-win. Now, when you start to reject those thoughts and instantly turn them into something positive, Oh my, has he got problems, okay? And you are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that is what you've got to remember. Always have a thought ready that is positive to you, that is beautiful to you, that means something to you, you know? If it's a child, if it's a pet, if it's you in a situation, if it's you with your loved one, it doesn't really matter what it is, but something that means something to you, something important or something that really made you laugh. You know, if you find something very, very funny and you've had a wonderful moment laughing with somebody, then remember that. That's also great because it's something that's going to uplift you instantly. You see, a negative thought will always take you down. A positive thought will always bring you up. So what do we want in life, really? We all want to be up. None of us can be, ooh, all day long. We all know that and we all realise that, but we don't want to be on the floor either, okay? Now, the good news for anybody that is on the floor at the moment is there's only one way up, okay? Once you hit that floor, you cannot go any lower. And when you realise that and you start to 
Okay, I'm ready and I'm going back up. And bit by bit, by bit, by bit, it's a little bit like climbing the ladder, okay? One step at a time. Nobody expects you to shoot up to the top of that ladder, you know, within a day or half a day or even a week or a month. It takes time. We need to heal. It's something inside, okay? But the more positive you are, the more positive things will turn up in your life. And that is what you want, a positive lifestyle. We all yearn for that, all of us. But some of us just don't know how to get it. And some of us don't understand how the law of attraction works because what you give out is what you get back. <clears throat> so when you see these miserable people, you know, that um, are around you maybe, which is a bad thing, don't mix with miserable people. Always try and find people that are feeling a little bit like you, feeling, you know, on the up. They want to go on the up, that they believe in these things, that they know that life can be better and that they realise it is in their hands. Because when you realise the influence that you have on your life, it's amazing. Your whole world can turn around. It really, really can. Because you are responsible. Nobody else. Circumstances come along, yes, certain conditions come along, but at the end of the day, you are in control. You make the decisions and you choose. There is always, always a choice. Always. So remember, when negativity calls on your door, sorry, I don't want to open this door. I don't want you in my life and I do not want you in my home or my surroundings. So what are you going to do? We're going to bring up a lovely happy thought which is positive, very positive for you and all the people that are around you. And it's going to change your whole outlook. You're going to have a smile on your face. You're going to be happy. Yeah. Because you brought that lovely thought up instead of wallowing in something that was maybe very, very sad and extremely negative. So <clears throat> we don't want those. Even though they come, they come along, you have to start looking at things in a more positive point of view. Everything has a positive side, even the nasty nasties that happen to us in our life. When you sit back, take a deep breath, think about it, you will realise that there is a point of positivity in that. And that point of positivity, um, you need to find it, you need to feel it, you really do, because I believe me, it's there. I promise you, it is there. Even in your darkest moments, you are learning something, okay? The universe is sending you a lesson and that lesson is to be learned. And when you learn that, learn that and can come out on the other side and feel so much more positive, what more do you want? That's exactly what we want to happen. So remember, don't let's harbour anything negative anymore, okay? And as soon as it appears, which it will, it will in your life, it's going to appear or it comes to you as a thought, in with a lovely thought and have that thought ready have like a little library there ready of all the things that you love in life okay and that bring a smile to your face or make you feel nice and warm inside whatever it may be have it ready and the minute mr negativity appears we want him out of the way okay so i'm going to say bye bye to mr negativity bye bye to you and a big positive see you soon okay bye bye